I think after like the fourth day, they're like, your heart's just not responding to the meds. And we're gonna try a few more things over the weekend, but we just wanna prepare you prepare you that you you might need a heart transplant. The being on the recipient list, there was constraints about where we could go. Mm -hmm. So if you ever got the call, you needed to be able to be at the hospital ready to go within four hours. Yeah, so. like, I got the call and you're like, <laughs> I didn't know what he was saying. You, you got the call? And I was like, I got the call, and she got up. And, and I don't remember like anything else that was happening, like in the Starbucks, and like, you were just like, the only two people there, I felt like. Yeah. And his mom didn't believe it, and she had to call me back on my cell phone. She said, did I dream that? Did I dream it? You know, several hours later, they called, and they said that the heart was beating on its own. And that was just, that was crazy. And then right here, mom and dad were just... Yeah, it was his mom and dad and sister and myself and his brother. And it was just like we all could like finally breathe, you know? Um, the owner family wrote you a letter. And I, I always told them and Katie, and, and I was, and I always felt that way that I probably wouldn't want to read it, but I instantly wanted to read it. I'll never forget one thing that the mom wrote in the letter. Was one of the things that we should know about her son was that whenever the chips were down, he was always there. Yeah. And this, yeah, he's just a good family guy. So Jason is a true gentleman, and he asked my dad for permission. So before. my dad was like waiting, but so then we stopped downtown on Michigan Avenue, and he said, Oh, because you've been traveling so much for work, I thought we would just do a romantic morning and yeah, we'd go on this horse and carriage ride. And I so then, yeah, we finally passed by the John Hancock building, and that's where we had I think, uh, one of our first one of our dates. very very first dates on the, at the signature room. So <laughs> as we cross it, as we go by it, I'm like, you know, Katie, you, you moved here and you and you, uh, you picked up your whole life and you moved to Chicago and uh, you know, blah blah blah. And, you know, we just passed by all these great places, and that's when, I, that's when I got that one knee. You started crying, and I started crying, and that's when I was laughing. And then I was crying because I'm like, oh my gosh, we're in the middle of the street here. And then I said yes, and said then yes. people started clapping and cheering. Yeah, so like, <laughs> it was, Debbie's it was, like, yeah. <laughs> it was moving, and it was it was cool because everyone's clapping and cheering and yelling congrats, but we just like stared at each other. Oh, it was just crazy. like a really cool moment. You know, right away after meeting Jason that he was the one that I wanted to be with.